So, um, Eric Ten Hag, this is a message to you. Shopsy is coming for your job, right? I'm, I'm always early to this party. Sangalo now. Boy. I'm always early to he's this coming party. To, now. He's coming to sack you. So we'll please yeah. buckle up. We'll be in this but of course, at the end of the day, um, Ten Hag is doing way better than Jurgen Klopp in his fifth season at, at, uh, at, at Liverpool. In How many what? seasons? How many seasons as, as, as uh, Jurgen Seven. Klopp? Seven seasons, I beg your pardon. In his seventh season at Liverpool, Massive, you massive. You're telling me that. It's let me, than, let's move on. So he's now. going to let's be Premier League and Champions League. Let's speak. Yeah. He must do that. So let's if he's better than Klopp, he must be Premier League. Is he not doing better than Klopp this season? Who cares about one season in where? So please chill out. Like, if you're not caring about one season, then why do you want to sack him? Give because him seven I'm seasons. Saying, see, I understand you. You're a fan. You're in love. You it's not about being a fan. Wait, okay, let me learn. Let me learn. Let me learn. It's can about. Can no, 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 no. You can't learn. Because it's about not allowing fickle minded thoughts. It's about. To the moon, bits going to the moon. But now you are playing like you played under Ralph Ragnick, and you are losing. And I said it as in, I was joking. Uh, obviously, it's tongue in cheek. I'm trying to get a rise out of you, but you can't just act like everything is all rosy. Because when I said it here, nobody said everything when I said is all rosy. Last week, I had a reason to say it. And then now we've come back again, and you played another good side in the league, and you lost again without scoring. Like you keep looking bad against the teams that are in and around you. It was a big weekend in the world of sports and one of the biggest things that we noticed or that we found out, one of the biggest results is that Anthony Joshua is not going to be retiring from boxing just yet. He fought against Jermaine uh, Franklin uh, but it was a pretty interesting fight. What did you think about it? Yeah, um, I don't think it was really interesting. It was kind of boring. <laughs> no, no, it was not interesting in terms of like the fight. It was interesting in terms of like, okay, the result and you know and what you know yes, what was the exactly. Was potentially at stake. And I think that might have been why the fight went the way it did. It mm. seemed like Joshua was cautious, but the intention was to not lose that fight. And mm. see that mm. in the way, but he didn't take too many risks and he just kind of cruised to the finish there. Mm. So yeah, good for him. Congratulations to Joshua of course. He's not retiring. That's big news. Most definitely most most definitely he has come out and said that um Tyson Fury is the pot of gold. That's the person he wants to fight. But personally, I feel like Fury is avoiding fights. I, I, I feel like at this point, you can conclude because he avoided Joshua, he avoided uh, Wilder for a while before event, the Wilder's fight eventually happened and now he's avoiding Usai. I think he's one of those fighters that realize that... After a monumentous comeback as the one he did come back from, yeah, yeah. I feel like Tyson Fury will feel he's really the match up again, he has more to lose than these guys by fighting. Like, what does he really have to gain by fighting Joshua again? He cemented his place as probably the greatest boxer of this generation. So, fighting these guys just gives By them winning up. just one belt? By winning just the I think he's, I think he's the best. I think that's really the best. I think he's better than Anthony Joshua. I think he's better than the Anthony Wilder. And I think in his peak, I think he'd have beaten all of them. I mean, you, you can say that, you can say that, but you can you would only say you're the best if you actually beat the best. That's the way I see it. And and he has yeah. had he has had enough time to actually fight all of them. Mm. And he has, for one reason or the other, shanked it. So most of the time coming up to here, maybe now as he's gotten a little on, maybe he might not win. But I felt like he would have won all those fights. And I feel like that's the reason why, like, say you sick now trying to fight him and he's agreeing to a 70 30 because they know mm. that guy's probably the best boxer in the league. Like, he's huge and he's actually very quick. Watch it. I don't like him as a person, but as a boxer, he'll <laughs> be hell of a Right, guy. right, right. So, yes, Anthony Joshua will still fight boxing. I mean, for well, you, Nigel. going to fight. So <laughs> that bad I mean, is too he, much. He said what he said, right? Yeah, he said what he said. <laughs> I'm taking with a pinch of salt. Nigel, right, right. right. his ancestors now allow himself to fight. <laughs> Moving on from that, it was also a very big weekend with, you know, football, especially with the EPL. In fact, well, not necessarily especially with the EPL, but let's start off with the EPL, right? Yes. Big wins at the top of the table, at the top end of the table. Mm -hmm. Massive win for Newcastle, just, you know, at the, in, in yeah. third position at the moment. At this and point, they're in the top end of the table too, man. Right. I mean, like, when you say top end, end, you say maybe first, second. Them, but yeah, they're, they're right there, they're right there. So Arsenal, mm -hmm. their, their win, their win was really big. Yeah. They, yeah. I mean, they put Leeds United to, you Arsenal, know. they do what you expect of them these days. When these people come around, they seem like Leeds. You know mm -hmm. Arsenal are going to beat them. They're mm -hmm. playing at the Emirates. You're only going to get one result. The Arsenal fans might be a bit upset that they don't keep clean sheets at home, but mm -hmm. that's the only... If you want to find the picky hole as Arsenal yeah, right now, yeah. that's the that'll, one that'll just be you need picky. Yeah, if you want to find something mm. desperately, mm. you can find that. But Arsenal, we see the same thing every week. Mm. Okay, so Arsenal, they go marching on. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Jerry is happy, but 
That's besides the point. And it was New- a key weekend for them because there was the City Liverpool game. So they went in hoping Liverpool would do that with David. Yes, and yes, yes. We're, we're, that favor. We're, going to, we're going to talk about that. But first off, Newcastle beating Manchester United. Manchester United have had a very bad run of fixtures away to the top 10 sides, especially the top nine, right? They have not won in, I think, seven it's or, like or seven eight. like seven losses as well. Yes. Actually, exactly. Not just not yeah, winning. They yeah. didn't get draws. They actually lost all of them against the sides in the top nine mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When, whenever they played away. And that trend continued. They played against Newcastle and they did not come to the park. Not they, at all. 2-0. They couldn't score. My and Newcastle couldn't score. looked like value for their money. And mm. before they even started scoring, you felt like Newcastle should have scored they earlier. Should, yes, like, yes, we look yes, at the few chances that he flopped. Um, so Newcastle had great value for their money. If you look at the ex- um, expected goals, it was like 4-0. to zero. United didn't really create. Mm. And it's quite troubling. Because yeah. I came here and I said Ten Hag could be sacked <laughs> just last week. And then now he's doing this again. It's looking interesting. That's not, I mean, it's not looking interesting, uh, you know, on the merits that Ten Hag should be sacked because that's just, mm-hmm. that's just bans and that's I, okay, just an agenda. I, I that's an agenda that, that will not fly. I saw something that was interesting. But for Newcastle, bro. especially. No, wait, let's not leave there now. Let's hold on, there. hold I on. An interesting start about Manchester United and Ten Hag, I think mm-hmm. you mentioned that by talking about him being sacked. What is interesting is that at this point last season, he's only three points better than Ralph Ragnick. Mm-hmm. So I get the project does look better, but I'm not as convinced as Ten Hag as I was two, three months ago. I yeah. feel like, because it, it does feel like the form, it looked good when, okay, Casemiro was playing and he's just a world beater and Marcus Rashford was playing out of his skin. And it's like, can you really do this forever? That means for Rashford to keep the other Rashford needs to be like, next season be a 50 goal player. So I questioned like, and whilst United were winning, it did feel like the way they won, like I said, I feel like Arsenal play much better football than United. I feel like I couldn't really see a plan with United, but they get results because they had players Can that see could get results. United. I'm struggling to see now. I'm struggling to see you like, as... the philosophy? I'm struggling to see your argument as valid. It, it sounds very, very fickle-minded. This is just eight months into Ten Hag's reign. We always knew this squad had I mean, issues. I eight months in, we sacked, we've just we, sacked only five months in. Like, bro, months that's too. different. How are you, com- are you comparing do? what Potter has done to what... Do? Are you comparing what Potter is or has done to Chelsea to what I'm Ten Hag... Let me finish. Let me finish to what Ten Hag is doing. Mm. Freaking semi finals, bloody no, FA Cup, no, no, uh, no, Carling no, Cup no, winners. No, no. What are you telling me? What Ten Hag is doing? Crashing, Tenag is doing crashing a Barcelona job. out of the Europa League. No, please. Do. Doing, I, I, at the end of the day, no, you're trying to push an agenda because you said it in the last episode and mm. I didn't really hold on to it because I felt, okay, maybe you were just bantering, but you're really just at this point. Part of my friend shitting on Ten Hag for absolutely no reason. He has done exceptionally well. Ooh. If man, you do not make it into the top four this season, I mm. would still consider it he a massive make it success. Me, go and sack him. Go and sack him. How can he go from a title race to not making it in the top four now? And I'm okay. literally telling you, your last manager that you just sacked, bro, okay. Manchester United just sacked the manager for being here around this period in time and for getting similar results. Okay. I think Ten Hag is three points better off than Ralph Ragnick was then. Okay. And Ralph Ragnick, as in, can we spoke about Ralph Ragnick now? He's swaggerless. So, no, um, Ralph. Eric Ten Hag, this is a message to you. Shopsy is coming for your job, right? I'm, I'm always early to this party I'm always early to he's this coming to, He's coming to sack you. So we'll please here. buckle up. We'll be in this but of course, at the end of the day, um, Ten Hag is doing way better than Jurgen Klopp in his fifth <laughs> season at, at, uh, at, at Liverpool. In How many what? seasons? How many seasons as, as, as uh, Jurgen seven. Klopp? Seven seasons, I beg your pardon. In his seventh season at Liverpool, Massive, okay, massive. So you're telling me that it's let me, better. Let's move on. So he's now. going to let's be Premier speak. League and Champions League. Let's yeah. speak. He now. must do that. So let's if he's speak. doing better than Club. He must be Premier League. Is he not doing better than Club this season? Who okay, cares about one season in where? So please chill out. Like, if you're not caring about one season, then why do you want to sack him? Give because him seven I'm seasons. Saying, see, I understand you. You're a fan. You're in love. You it's not about being a fan. Wait, okay, let me learn. Let me learn. Let me learn. It's can about. Can no, 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 no. You can't learn because it's about not allowing fickle minded thoughts. It's about. To the moon, bits going to the moon. But now you are playing like you played under Ralph Ragnick, and you are losing. And I said it as in, I was joking. Uh, obviously, it's tongue in cheek. I'm trying to get a rise out of you, but you can't just act like everything is all rosy. Because when I said it here, nobody said everything when I said is all rosy. Last week, I had a reason to say it. And then now we've come back again, and you played another good side in the league, and you lost again without scoring. Like you keep looking bad against the teams that are in and around you, and I okay. feel like. Rashford was a purple patch, like even those periods. United were not playing well. Unbiased opinion, as in just watching football. But he was not just back thinking we were bowling. 
The ball is not sweet. United you were not playing now. well. We weren't. You were not, United were not playing well. Rashford was bailing you out, bro. That's a fact. Was United counter, were not playing was well. Counter attack. Ten Hag is trash. Was counter attack for both. And Rashford was bailing you out. Ten Hag okay. is not trash. Oh, okay. Ten Hag is not so, trash. So what's your point? But my point Ten Hag is, should be sacked. It's not trash, is, but he should be sacked. My point is keep an eye on Ten Hag, and if he gets sacked, we'll be here together. I remember Shoshi told you first that Ten Hag. Hmm. Unfortunately, it, it, it's not it, looking it's, great, bro. It saddens me to say, but it's not looking this is one half of the Sangalo boys actually. Just spitting, spitting great. trash and yanning dust. So why were you just sacked for the same form? Anyways, Manchester United are currently sitting fourth, and it's very likely, or let me say, somewhat likely, uh, that they will not they will be dropped out of the of the top four tonight. Um, tonight, with Tottenham Ooh. having a Ooh. game, you know, to play today. But of course, that does not mean that Manchester United have had a bad season. I, I would say that any day, any time. That does not mean Manchester United have, have had a bad season. How many teams are in the title race? Is Liverpool in the title race? A few months ago, it was three. Is Liverpool in the title race? 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 How many teams are in the title race? Is Liverpool in the title race? Telek, I mean, you need to run the tape. Telek came and told us that the title race, that he's just going to enjoy the ride, that United are going to be good. And now you're going to be fifth this evening. Like, this form is too bad. Like, and we can't just act like because you won a Carling Cup, this form is not so bad. So since, that's your trophy. Since when you were 49 points and so that were on 52. That's after were on 52 <laughs> points, United were on 49 points. And since then, United have picked up one point. Since, since then, we called it a title. So that's your, that's your trophy. That's your trophy now. Tenag. That's your trophy. Tenag. That's your trophy. I'm watching Brendan Rodgers, Ten Hag, my eyes on you. <laughs> I'm watching you, Ten Hag. If, no, anyways, that's unfortunate because that's a Liverpool fan speaking <laughs> out of his backside. That is his I'm trophy. Fool, man. Liverpool, Liverpool, you can't let much that's all you're about. Is that not what I have already? Can, can we can move on? Up? Can we move on now? No, At least I've tried to say now. So Liverpool up, now uh -uh. played against Manchester City yeah. and they lost embarrassingly. Currently sitting. In the bottom part of the top half of uh, the uh, table. Are you know, know in the bottom half, part of the top half of the table? Was, that was that one. Uh -huh. Can you really break up so, that league like that? <laughs> Jurgen Klopp actually. And you're um, in the bottom half of the title race now. <laughs> Jurgen Klopp, Jurgen Klopp is doing a very excellent job at turning yeah. Liverpool into Definitely. a sham of a team Definitely. this season, especially. Yeah, I think. So, um, um, hold on. Hold on. I'll bring you in. You, I'll bring you, wanna, in. you want to move on? Let me. Talk I'll bring now. you in now. Chill. So. Manchester City actually put Liverpool to the sword. Mohamed Salah did have a very mm. good. He did have a, have a very that's good. That's my W, bro. The king <laughs> still resumes. Top six bully. Dex all of them. Had a very very City good. Chelsea. Had a very very good um, international break. But of course, he couldn't do enough to help okay. help Liverpool win. Yeah, it was a very good City. game. Um, speaking of Salah, was a very good game. Yeah, it was lost a good game. It was a good game. City played. Uh, I'm a football fan. It was a good match. City played. All of a sudden, so now you're a football, football fan. fan. <laughs> Let me speak to my people. Liverpool fans. So yeah, it was a very good game at the Etihad. Um, City played exceptionally well. Like and how did when I see play? City, when I see Real Madrid, when I see like Arsenal, the way these guys play football, it just lets me see the glaring holes in the Liverpool team. That mm. there's no way you can't compete at this level without this level of football. I look at the City players. Every single one of them has a good touch. Every single one of them makes the right pass. If City catch you in space and they are transitioning. They're literally always going, they're going to score like every single time. They're going to pass a few passes in the middle, send their wide, put it across and get the goal. So yeah, City just, they showed their class. They showed that they've been here before. The big players stepped up, the Brenner, Gundogan. We've seen them do this the last three, four seasons, stepping up in the big moments. But for Liverpool, um, it's nothing that no one really did. I just, I just hope, I just hope you season. will be, I just hope you will like, be as agitated with your Liverpool that, as you were with Manchester United. We've done so this speak. one already. Like I feel like Liverpool. <laughs> we've done no, it already. It's not news with Liverpool. We know Liverpool having a bad season. United, we thought we're in a title race. It's not news. Now news. It's Liverpool, not news. Liverpool, yes, in a bad season. You say you're in club doing a something job or something, but the facts are the facts. Your club is the longest serving manager in the Premier League for a reason. Your club is the only second manager in Premier League history to have won every single trophy he has competed for. Mm. Your club has a bad season, so. You think uh, if you if you honestly so, your heart, if you honestly have your a bad heart, season, so okay, my point great, is, great. So, are you going to compare the credits your club has in the bank with great. Liverpool with the credits and all that because of his Carabao Cup? Great, is the um, Caprison Cup is the same as the Champions League? Seven seasons compared to eight months. <laughs> Seven seasons compared to eight months. He's doing a good job, but keep an eye on him, sure. You're you're and you're, you're disappointing. The, the you're disappointing. Here, when, you're we disappointing. Come, when we come full circle. That when you come full circle, you will not come full circle. Is the point? Jogging Club should be sacked. Jogging Club should actually be sacked. I told you your goat was washed when we came here. Club should be sacked. Jogging Club, Jogging Club should be sacked on the merits of the season that Liverpool have had. That's 
The result should be sacked this season on the merit of the crap that Liverpool has been this season. So please. If you're if you're trying to if you're trying to if you're trying to use some some kind of yardsticks, you understand, to just analyze some things. Just be be factual, you understand me, and be you know <laughs> let let your words have merit, you understand Tenag. me. So mm. Tenag. so Jurgen Klopp Tenag and neck is on the line for you, Tenago. Turn this. We need a result next game, bro. Turn it around, bro. You can't let go four games. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You can't go four games without scoring a goal, though. If, if my side United seven, you haven't scored a goal, Tenago. If my side United scored, though. If Manchester United end up, up, if Manchester United end up not, not finishing in top four, I'll be very this season, right and that's on you. Oof. Nobody cares about whether you're disappointed you or surprised. Be, you will be disappointed. I do not care. Will be I will not be disappointed because I know how bad this Manchester United side wow. was before Ten Hag came in, you know? and I know how bad. Of course, Man U has been down bad for the yeah. longest, yeah. but yeah. Liverpool, the you world champions, right? club. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, see say where you are at the moment. It. So, uh, hey. you and your club say it. <laughs> but um, interestingly, Pep Guardiola did have a moment with Costa Simicas and, and another, man. And another uh, Liverpool, uh, that Liverpool Pep player. Guy is so strange. He was celebrating right in front of them. He's so strange. He's not strange. Why did he not try and shake the guys' hands? He said it at the oh, end of the game. He said, it, he said it at the end of the game. He was like, ah, but I was just asking him, didn't you think that goal was good? He was the goal not away. good? He he was the goal away. not good? He gets excited. He's like, mm. Pep, you're a big man now. Why are you? Because you've seen Swiss goal now, you're getting excited. Because you've seen Swiss goal. Simicas should have given him, should have decked him. Should have him. Right. Right, uh-huh. right, right. Moving on from one of the biggest losers this um, this uh, weekend in the Premier League, let's go to another team that has been down bad. We called Brendan Rodgers sack earlier in the season, but it took another Somebody twenty, yeah, another twenty plus games Apple before it eventually Dodgers. happened. Um, the Brendan Rodgers. But it, it was he, he did have a really a good run with with, with Leicester City, considering there was yeah, not yeah, that yeah. much investment in the squad. He won one FA Cup in twenty twenty one. That's their First ever FA Cup title for Leicester City, and he got two top five finishes in his four well, seasons well. at, you know, at Leicester City. So it was not a bad run in terms of the expectations of the club and you know what the club is. And they were on a limited the budget, so you understand that. But I feel like the Premier League club, it does need something new. And Leicester re- being relegated is not far fetched for them right mm. now. The situation they are. So yeah, you need something new. You need a new manager bounce. Um, I think it's just run, it's just run his race. It's not, it doesn't look like he's inspiring them anymore. The performances aren't coming up. They're not fighting for him as much. I mean, you have that problem. It's not that he's a bad manager. He can go to Crystal Palace next season now and <laughs> be in the Europa League sports. That's the way it goes. But him and Leicester, like the message isn't being transmitted anymore. Talking about another manager that was sacked this same weekend in the Premier League, Graham Potter has been sacked by Chelsea. Dai was very, very happy about this one, especially. They were also <laughs> happy about this one. And it's quite funny because. Mm. Yeah, I think I respect um, Boli for making the decision as quickly as he did because you could have seen how we might have wanted to stick to his house. We would have thought, um, I'm not like the old manager, but not yet to sack manager, it's a project, a young manager, blah, blah. But it was clear that it was not going to work. Like, giving him more time just meant now he starts next season and then he messes up the beginning of next season, blows our top four chance, and that's another season not in top four. So I definitely think it was right to sack him, get somebody else in now who can start building the team, start knowing, because there are so many players in the squad right now, players on loan, start deciding what he wants to do to start next season on a clean slate. Yeah, but that's not necessarily going to happen at the moment because they have an interim manager, mm-hmm. somebody who came with Graham Potter from Chelsea, uh, from, from Brighton and Hove Albion um, in the dugout for them. Yeah, they report for the that time being. the directors of football are having conversations with getting somebody new in. And um, I also thought it was interesting that Potter, so I think it was owed about 60 million pounds mm. when he got sacked for this. And he said that, yeah, he's not going to take all of it. He's not pushing for all of it, which I think is very weird to me. Yeah, that's, that's weird, man. Like, just that's collect your bag, man. Yeah, just get paid, bro. That's something Mourinho would not do. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> but talking about another manager that was sacked from Chelsea, who is having an excellent time so far. We First game in charge of Bayern Munich. He played against Borussia Dortmund. Title challengers, they were one point ahead of him before that game, and he went and he did the business for Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich defeated Dortmund four goals to two. Yeah, very, very big were, for Bayern. They were like 3 0 up 20 minutes in. Dortmund didn't help themselves, like the first goal. Yeah, the first goalkeeper goal like, made a very massive yeah, mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Upamecano crossed the ball into a Bayern Exactly. Team so Bayern um, Dortmund definitely caused themselves these problems, and now with Bayern going ahead of them, like you said, it was a point separating two sides there, but. I feel like mentally it's going to be hard to see if Dortmund can bounce back for that mentally because if they focus on winning their own games, things can still happen and they can still win the league. They're still yeah. in it, but yeah. I feel like there's going to be a sense of damn, Bayern have gotten us again and picking themselves up is going to right, be tough. Right, right, right. And Tucho, Tucho actually did say um, in one of his press conferences that it still hurts 
his sacking by Chelsea mm. is still painful. Yeah, um, yeah, it was painful, it was unexpected. I didn't think he needed to be sacked, but I guess that's just we're all big companies. When a new owner comes in, he mm. wants his own men inside, mm. people loyal to him, and then reporting directly to him, yeah. blah blah. But yeah, it's um, it's been a very crazy Premier League season. It's not over yet, and we have a record for minders that have been sacked. They've been 12 yes, minders sacked. Minders this sacked already this Scott Parker, Steven Gerrard, Frank Lampard, Nathan Jones, Thomas Tuku, Bruno Lard, Ralph Hasenhutu, Jesse March, Patrick Vieira, Antonio Conte, Brendan Rodgers, and now Graham Potter. It's actually crazy that Tuku was sacked just this season. As in to be a Premier League manager, that must, the job security was one of the lowest about. Most and um, another thing that's interesting about this list is the quality of midfielders on this list is exceptional. Pascal Baca, Steven Gerrard, right. Frank Lampard, right. Patrick Vieira, <laughs> give me one of these guys. Today, they will bench Henderson. And so in Serie A, the apparent runaway leaders, right, runaway Napoli, leaders, yeah. they got drubbed 4 nil at home yeah, against yeah. Milan. And that was big, that was big. That's because Simen did not play. Hmm? Maybe that's why um, the ten loss for Adonai is their best player. But did he play? He played. So he held that for. He played. <laughs> My boy Simeone didn't hold that for with him. Try. But um, yeah, good game. Um, AC Milan deserved the win. Um, brilliant performance for Rafael Leao. Um, and Silent Michaels. Yeah, um, Brahim Diaz got a nice assist Sabi. for them. Um, yeah, good result. Um, Milan will definitely take a lot of purses from that. The project that they're building, like, yeah, if you can beat the runaway leaders, then okay, yeah, this season we're not competing, but maybe next we can compete again, like they did just yep. the year before. Yep. Um, Liao, exceptional player. Um, a lot of teams are going to be coming in for Liao. I've seen links to all the big Premier League clubs, and if that was a match everybody watched, then it's talk to them in the world. Yeah, that's definitely something big happening there in Serie A. Uh, Napoli, 71 points. Lazio on 55. So there's still quite a bit of a buffer yeah. it's, it's for done, Napoli. It's, done. it's not necessarily done and dusted. Napoli needs to win three. Yeah, they, they, they need to win three. From Once they win games? three, three from how many? Games? From like, ten. They Once they win oh, three, oh, that's it. They 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 will be giving the title. This would be one of the greatest capitulations in history if Napoli do win the title. I I think so too. I think so too. And Juventus are doing pretty good for themselves, having been docked about yeah, fifteen yeah. points. Uh, currently sitting seventh in you know in the they just might make it into your your far conference. Yeah, that would be quite impressive if they can still play European football. And I mean. They can probably look a little higher than that. Maybe they can try and sneak into the Europa League sports yeah, um, potentially as well. Um, yeah, big for UV. Um, their own season just be about being in this type of drama yet again. Right, and it's clean right, of the image. Right, it's focused right. on the image before we talk about them on Shangana. Okay, moving on from that and to quickly wrap things up. Formula One had a very big weekend. Burst up and, of course, mm. did the business again. But Lewis Hamilton had his first pole, I think first this pole season, yeah. this season. And that would do a lot of good for his confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fernando Alonso continued his good run of form. Aston yeah, Martin yeah. with their good Aston run Martin of form. Aston Martin, great outing. Yeah, they finished third in Australia. Third and fourth. Third and fourth, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah for them. Yeah. Um, some nice stats I saw was that um, this is the 34th time um, Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen have finished one and two one in and the two. Formula race, and that's a record. That's a it's record. also with Lewis, Lewis Hamilton, this is his 17th season with a podium finish mm. in a, another record. So it's like he's reached that point in his career where everything he does now is just going to be like, it's just like a Ronaldo, yeah. Messi, LeBron <laughs> thing. Where they're going to chase everything at this point because, yeah, yeah it's a great, if not the, great, the greatest of all time. I think so. The greatest too. of all time. No, 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 almost, almost. I mean, Schumacher still yeah, has I mean, the record time. Yeah, basically. No, they're equal. They're equal, they're yeah. Equal. They're equal. just doesn't have more than him. Yeah. But when you look at all these stats, he's on the podium more. So, and they may think of where he has to come from, the adversity, a black driver. I mean, that's story. That's, that's story my goal, bro. Yeah, that's true, the true, greatest true, of all time. Of course. And that would be the end of the episode today. There's UEFA Champions League games to look out for this week. There's mid-week. Premier League tomorrow. Liverpool and Chelsea back at it, man. Two teams with oh, all really? the drama in the world. Chelsea, new manager bounce. So this guy have the hands. Liverpool need a result here. Chelsea are a very bad team at the moment. Chelsea is one team that actually gives me hope that no matter how bad we are, like, I don't understand how Chelsea have found a way to be worse than Liverpool going through what we're going through this season. So, it'll be an exciting game. Kante is back. He's always back for Liverpool games Bro, for some reason. Stop, stop setting it up bounce. to look better for Liverpool. It They're be, not worse. Than who? Chelsea They're, are not you worse. Get, both Liverpool and Chelsea uh-huh. are both down bad. Both Chelsea teams are, are literally... Yeah, tell us the idea. Bottom half for the Let semi. This one are literally both teams, the bottom half for the semi. Both teams are down and bad. And Both teams have been comical this season. Liverpool has been except Liverpool have been exceptionally embarrassing this season. Yeah, the same thing seven with Chelsea. You are telling me I've been embarrassing. That, that was a blip. Seven this season, that was a blip. Yeah, seven for me. Yeah, six for City. Yeah, well, you collect, for you collected yeah, plenty from Madrid too. Now, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I collect you collected seven. plenty from Madrid too. Now. You collected plenty from no. Man City. Tell us you know me. You collected plenty. You collected plenty until game week thirty-eight. I don't want to Liverpool in your mouth. So this is where we wrap things up. It's going to be a very very big midweek. 
not necessarily a big one on Tuesday because both teams are not expected to no you know, to serve up this anything is a big interesting. Game. And if you like and a neutral, that's where we we'll wrap things up. Always a good match. You can predict um, the Liverpool versus Chelsea game, but I don't think we'll be giving anything out for that because. It's really nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> Gary, it's nothing exceptional. Gary, but of course, predict in the comment section below. Anywhere you're watching this, let us know. We'd definitely love to hear your thoughts. But we won't be giving money out because it's Liverpool and Chelsea. Thank you very much. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.